and welcome to Tough Rocks HQ. Last week in the midweek short you may remember that I sprayed some rocks and I showed you one rock that I was keeping specifically for this week and that's the one that we will be painting today. Before I continue please support us by clicking subscribe and then hitting that little notification bell. We'd appreciate that very much. Thank you. So this week's little positivity daisy then is going to look mighty fine on this rock. I'm not going to put a background on it. I'm just going to paint a little daisy straight on it. Nothing else. If you remember I said less is definitely more. So I'm sticking to that this week. Also this week I'm using two different cameras. And I'd like your feedback please on the picture quality and the sound of both cameras. Obviously I'm still learning how to do all this with the creation, the editing and all that kind of stuff. I will get the hang of it, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But if you can let me know, because uh, I won't know until the end, if you can let me know what the picture quality is like on this camera and the sound and then the downward facing camera if you can let me know of the the picture quality and the sound on that. Of course, I'm not going to know until I get to the end of the video, but I'd like you to be involved in helping me out with a little bit of feedback. I'd really, really appreciate it. Be nice though, please, if you don't mind. Be very nice. I Like I said, I, I am learning. Our technology is still limited, um, but the nicer you are, the more I listen, I'm sure. <laughs> I've noticed in this video, when I'm using the downward facing bits, you get in my head in there. So I've moved the camera. I might move it back, I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. But it's 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 right here and it's very it's very difficult to to do something without bending over and, and looking straight at it and then of course you get in the top of my head in there. So I apologise in advance for you seeing the top of my head every now and again. I did try, but I probably failed. In fact, I know I failed. You'll also notice um, during the, the shooting using this camera that because this one is standalone, this one is plugged into my laptop. So you're going to hear the fan of the laptop. I've got to try and find another way to sort that out. Um, but I know it was annoying me and it's probably going to annoy you. I'm going to see if I can adjust it whilst in the video. But the moment you've all been waiting for, let's get on and do this positivity daisy on that absolutely awesome rock. Hi guys, this is me. I've travelled back from the end of the video again. Just to let you know that the sound quality on the, the downward facing camera it, because it's attached to my laptop and it's got a, um, a microphone built in. It's so awful. I wish I hadn't used it now. This was a very, very hard lesson that I have well and truly learned. I have ideas on how I can uh, deal with this. Um, so I'm going to be repeating myself in the video by saying about the new cameras. If you want to comment on how I can get around this anyway please feel free to do so but I promised you this video with this rock and here it is in all its dreadful glory thanks for putting up with me guys we're still learning honestly These are the awesome little positivity daisies that I have left out of the big pile that I did. I'm not going to do the background. I will use that for a midweek short. If you'd like it sooner rather than later, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so you might be able to see my pencil marks, but just in case you can't, I'm going to start with the middle. These don't have to be so perfect as long as you can see them. 
I'm going to start with the two outside ones first. I don't know if you can see this. I'm just going to wait for this to dry now. I'm going to colour these, all the little pieces in, in white. I'm going to leave this last piece just so I don't make a mistake and forget where the ends of my petals are. But I'm just going to colour these in white, wait for it to dry, and we'll be back with you. The reason why I'm putting a white base layer on here is the paints that I'm going to be using, which I will show you in a moment. They are quite thin, even though they have good coverage, but they always need more than one coat. So if I put some white as a base, what that means is I don't have to worry so much because the darkness of the rock is not going to show through as much. So you'll see that I'm doing the outside ones first, and then I'm doing the top ones. Right, I've just turned the light off on the camera in the hope that that might make a difference. Now that I've done these two and this one, I'm going to carry on now with these ones here. I'm going to leave it dry. I decided to come in a little bit closer because I looked just when I was watching the last piece back that my head's in it. You don't want to see my head. So here's my paint. Let me tell you about this paint first. It's Studio Acrylics. It's a absolutely gorgeous iridescent red blue, which means that when you move it around, you can see it's of blue in it as well. I got these ones from Hobbycraft. They're also available on Amazon, and I will put the link for these down below. So let's get on and do some painting. So following the same pattern as earlier, I'm going to paint the two outer ones first before I move to the top and then down the side. Okay, there's that one. I'm just going to paint these up now and I'll speed it up a bit for you and I shall see you in a moment. And there it is. I need to wait now for this to dry so I can paint the middle piece. As you can see, I've gone over a bit in the middle. But if you made that error too, don't worry about it because you're going to be painting over it anyway. So I will see you shortly as soon as this is dry. I'm just going to colour the middle now and leave that to dry. I'll see you in a few minutes. So I've gone over this a few times, so it's nice and bright. I'm debating on what colour to do the middle. I've got a choice of yellow or pink. Pink looks quite nice. So does the yellow. Hmm. You know, I think I'm going to go with the pink, only because I think it'll show up better for you.
but now we're quite sure whether or not to use a black outline or a white outline. I just tried the white and it completely failed. So I'm going to use the fine liner black pen to go around each of the petals. The same process as when you started the outside ones, then the middle one, and then these two. For no other reason except by the time you've done these two and these two, then they'll be drier. Once you've finished doing these, do your little, oh, for me it's a pink piece. And now for the stalk, this is where the positivity bit comes in. I don't know if you can see, but I've already written something and I would strongly suggest that you try it in pencil first simply because if you make an error and it doesn't fit, you can rub it out. Um, this was not my first attempt, so don't get disheartened. It will take a few times. Alright, and then Get on and do this. And there it is. Not quite finished yet. I'm going to go around and I'm going to touch up the right then. And then I'm going to spray it with lacquer and come back to you and show you what it looks like. My mistake here, we haven't finished. We're now going to put some detail on the petals. So by placing your pen in the middle and then just flick it out or your paintbrush and flick. They don't all have to be the same size. And now I'm going to spray it. So it's all dried and sprayed and here's it warm out the garden, which is why I've had to change my t-shirt. Um, before I show you this finished piece, which I've got to be honest, looks mighty fine. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share it with your friends. And please support this channel either on Patreon or by liking and subscribing. Until we see you next time, guys. I'm rocking.